the whole lot of shit. Woo, awesome. So today we're excited because it's been a few months since our Beautifully Well Lifestyle Change program ended um, with Tiffany, which is our CDC recognized diabetes prevention program. So we're following back up with Tiffany, who was one of our most dynamic participants. <laughs> so we're diving in today. So Tiffany, tell us, why did you decide to join the Lifestyle Change program? I decided to join because I didn't, I couldn't do this on my own anymore. It was hard. I didn't feel like I had the support and I was going through a whole lot. So eating was my go-to to um to get me in the right place as long as i was eating i was happy and i was getting bigger and bigger and i just started seeing it other people saw it but i never saw it until i looked in the mirror one day and i was so not impressed and i reached out to nick for help mm. so it, it just hit a point where you said enough enough yes now i need support i'm ready to, to dive in so what was one aspect of the program that you enjoyed the most? I really love meeting with the ladies. We had such a good time. We talked and it felt good that I wasn't the only one. So I gained some good friends. We didn't keep in touch, but I really want to reach out to them. Um, and maybe we can still encourage each other. Absolutely. You know, um, that social connectedness that although it was a virtual program, still been able to benefit from building that bridge. Mm -hmm. And Tiffany, you were one of the ones who I call the transparency starter. Like Tiffany would come to class, <laughs> we would have a challenge or a win for the week. And in the midst of your wins, whenever you had a challenge, you never held back. And that was, that was the nucleus of getting the group engaged. And like you said, women, we're in the same boat. We're in the same place. So okay. you spiraled those conversations that needed to be had. Mm -hmm. So if you could think of, um, you accomplished many goals, but what's one goal that comes to your mind that you were able to accomplish in during the program? I realized that if I kept sticking to my regimen, I could definitely lose the weight. Now I had my little sneaky moments where I was behind that door and wasn't nobody looking and it was just like, girl, what are you doing? But it made me realize that I could do it if I really wanted to and stuck to it. Mm, you, you were able to gain some motivation yes. along the way. Mm -hmm. um, that is awesome. And just, you know, one of the goals that I can remember in that program, um, you started out with the A1C that was in that pre-diabetes range. Yes. Um, we watched that number come down. Yes. And then... At the same time, you were able to even amidst, in the midst of the challenges about how much did you come down weight-wise while in the program? I think 20-something pounds. Yeah, it was in a, definitely in the 20s. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome. Um, the program ended in June. Here we go in November. But share with us, since the program has ended, um, how have you been able to benefit from that experience? How is it helping your journey now? Um, after the program ended, it was like I was right back where I started. I gained all the weight right back, and my health started getting worse and worse, and it was just like, what can I do now? So, like I said, and I tell everybody, I tried all the potions, I drank all the teas, and it's like when you take that stuff, you gain the weight back double if you stop taking it. So, it was just like... I talked to my doctor and he said, well, um, he gave me some um, food plans I can go by. I tried to go by those. I was back and forth with it, not so good, but I did good enough where I started seeing the weight dropping. And I was like, okay, something's happening. So I just lessened all of my food, portion control. I don't eat as much snacks. I never did sugar, I was a salt person, so. Um, I just try to stick with that and take it day by day. Yeah. And your A1C now, is it out of the pre-diabetes range? I can't think of what it was, but it's definitely down. Yeah. It's definitely down. Yeah. Based on the last um, 
based on what you last sent, you are in the normal range. Mm -hmm. So that is awesome. That's amazing. Um, and you hit it on the nose. The program ends and it's like, okay, what am I going to do next? But you didn't stop. Right. There was something that clicked and it was like, okay, what does my doctor recommend? What are some things I can use? And you went right back to portion control, which is what we talked a lot about in the program. Yeah, because I was thinking like maybe I should get the surgery. But then in the back of my mind, I was like, oh. Uh. I might not like how I look after the surgery, so I better do this the normal, healthy way and just try to stick to the business. Stick to it, mm -hmm. the consistency. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell a woman who was thinking about joining our Lifestyle Change Program? What advice would you give her? This would be the best choice for you. First of all, you it starts with you. You have to make the decision that that's what you want to do. Nobody else is only for you and just do it don't think about it don't contemplate it it'll be the best decision you've made and you'll have the best help that you can get that's yeah that's it in a nutshell it's starting somewhere and so tiffany we thank you for uh being bold enough to share we know your experience is going to encourage so many women um the Lifestyle Change Program is not tagged a weight loss program, but for many of us, a part of this journey, it incorporates weight loss. But Tiffany's experience shows that it's a combination of efforts that go into this journey that really never ends. Mm -hmm. So it's about the support, building the motivation, um, feeling good about what you're doing, even when you're in a challenge, and boosting your belief system yes. that I can get this done. Yes. And so, thank you so much, Tiffany. You're we welcome. appreciate you, and we look forward to continuing to be a part of the next phase in your journey. Yes. Bye, everybody.